What the fuck is up, Kyle? No, what the fuck? What did you say, dude? Step the fuck up. <clears throat> Good mythical morning. Um, hey guys. In today's, I actually just had kind of a thought. I saw like this TikTok about, okay, so you're driving in the middle of the road and fucking about to head on crash me. Um, I saw a TikTok before and it's like, I don't even remember what the sound was, but it was POV, the manager who teaches you how to do your first like part-time job or whatever. And I kind of was watching it and I was like, fuck. I am that manager. It was saying about there's like that manager that just seems to have so much fucking life experience and has weird, so many like infinite weird stories. At like for an 18 year old, I have so much fucking life experience that like a lot of it doesn't really serve me, but I've just like done a lot of things that are stupid and random. Actually, I'm not gonna call it stupid. Ooh, that was a pothole. Um. I'm not going to call it stupid because life experience is life experience and I've just, I've had a lot before the, like at the age of 18, I've done a lot of things, I've seen a lot of things, I've seen a lot of places, I've been, tra I travelled a lot um, with my parents as a kid, a lot of the places I don't really remember because I was quite young, um, but I performed at Disneyland when I was fucking two years old, um, <clears throat> I was in the prime of my dance career. I don't really remember it, I just remember we used those like fucking blow up whales in our routine, but whatever else happened, I got no idea. Um, and I remember when we were doing that, the hotel that we were staying in, I got like really lost in. That was a really intelligent thing to do, lost on the road, driving a vehicle that could kill people. Sometimes I really think that I'm surrounded by idiots, particularly at work, the amount of adults that I've had to teach how to use an FPOS card, that is common knowledge. And as someone who completely lacks like common sense, I know how to use a fucking FPOS card. So should you. On that topic of like being a manager, it happens all the time when I'm like training new people or training people in stuff that they haven't kind of learnt yet. I will get so sidetracked and I'll end up telling them a few stories about my life, but I feel like the anecdotes kind of help them like take in the information and remember what they're supposed to be doing. Mm, that's actually just what I kind of tell myself so that I don't feel bad about getting sidetracked and taking forever to train them. But at least they get trained. It took me so long to get trained to do so many things. I ended up having to like annoy people into doing it, which is honestly like, <clears throat> it's very telling of my life. Like if I want something, I have to like either get it myself or annoy someone into giving it to me. So do that. If you ever, if, well, don't, obviously don't annoy someone into giving you like firearms or something like that's gonna jeopardize your or someone else's life. But like, if you want something to get done or you want to be able to do something, annoy someone into like letting you do it or like teaching you how to do it. One of my favorite parts of my job is when, now I do not like running the store, um, but like I can if I need to. If there's no other hire manager on duty, I can do it. Um, but like there is one part that I love when I'm, um, running the store and it's when someone's being a bit of a shit oh actually I should not say that word I do swear quite a bit but um whilst I'm like filming videos I have to hold back the c-bomb because I feel like that's like kind of crossing a line so uh, uh, someone's being a little bit of a poopy head and then they say to me or like one of my casuals they're like go and get your manager and I'm like oh I am the manager the look on their faces literally like it keeps me going until the next time it happens so oh it's just it's so good because usually they are acting like a child throwing a tantrum and this is like a fucking adult an adult is like throwing a tantrum at me an 18 year old who is the manager of the store like who is the highest manager on duty 
like it's an 18 year old with an attitude problem so like it's just it's so fucking funny to me like because the, they usually have a problem with me or well not it's never directly with me it's always with the policy that I'm enforcing but like yeah and then I sometimes have people the funny part when they're like well what, like where what else can I like who hire can I go to and I'm like oh I can give you customer services number which is literally going to ruin the rest of their day because they are going to call customer service and end up on the phone to them for at least an hour and then these people borderline abuse customer service so they're not going to want to do shit for you if you're not being like nice this person that is next to me at this light can fucking see that I'm filming myself and I really don't want to look um, next to me and make eye contact with them because they can see that I'm talking to a camera <laughs> oh thank god I'm having <clears throat> trouble like fucking comprehending this but the TikTok I made that was making fun of like the male gaze versus female gaze trend is blowing up and it's like got like 300,000 and something views like it's like 320 on something and like 50,000 likes and I'm like losing my marbles because there's so many people in the comments that just aren't like there's I literally pinned a comment explaining the joke because like I, you know the joke is ruined when you have to explain the joke but people are like some people are getting it and then some people are being like homophobe you are homophobic and I'm like, dog, like, just read the comments before you comment that. Like, I got it. Like, people were commenting it initially when there was nothing in the comments, like, explaining the joke. And someone was like, as a gay man, shut the fuck up. And I was like, it's not, that's not the trend, dog. Oh my God. And then they saw the comment explaining the trend. No, explaining, like, the joke. And then they were like, oh, cool, I get it now. And I'm like, okay, thanks. But then people are still commenting it after there is a pinned comment being like, oh, the joke's a play on words. It's not homophobic. Ah! This is the primary reason that I much prefer YouTube to TikTok. First of all, because YouTube, you can actually like get to know the person that you're like interacting with. This drive has gone really quick. It's only been 10 minutes and I'm like nearly... Okay. But I just, I much prefer YouTube also because like on YouTube, people think before they comment things, somewhat. And also people on TikTok, I feel like there's so many people and they're just like, actually, did not speak a word of fucking English just then. YouTube, people are actually watching your content because they like, they either like your personality or the content that you create. Which, like, that's what I want people to like me for. I don't want people to like me, like, obviously I want people to like me because I'm funny, but I don't want people to expect fucking all these jokes out of me. Like, I put, because I, on TikTok, I'll post a joke that I actually, like, have thought through god maybe once a month and the rest of them are just me shit posting or me telling everyone that i've posted a youtube video and that's kind of all i really want my tiktok to be like my monthly joke and then <clears throat> telling everyone to go to my youtube channel because this is the platform i like being famous on tiktok fucking terrifies me terrifies i've literally spent like fucking five minutes trying to get to this one point so i'm really sorry danny that's editing this am okay with having like I have a little bit of TikTok clout like I got 5.8 thousand followers which is fine by me like I don't know why that many people follow actually I, I had one TikTok that like got like 1.5 no 2.5 million views and it was like a TikTok of my dog and then the one at the moment is like drawing a few more people to my TikTok page but like I'm really t I don't want to be famous on TikTok like, I don't want to be a TikToker. I want to be a YouTuber that has TikTok. Oh, there's a brown car. You can't, it's so much less, like, an of an in-depth, like, creator experience on TikTok. It's like, I think of something or I hear a sound. Oh, my God. That car was really scary. Um, I think of something in a fleeting moment and I post it on TikTok and then that's that. 
you know what I mean? Whereas on YouTube, oh, it's a bit of traffic, it's man. Whereas I think of something for YouTube and then I conceptualize it in my notes page, I think it through, I get ready to film it, I film it, then I edit it. Like I am much more involved in the process. Whereas TikTok, I'm using someone else's like, like sound or audio, or whatever. And just putting like me on top of it. It feels like it feels different and um, yeah. This drive has been, ooh, I'm causing a small traffic jam. But it's like, it's not exactly my fault. It's just like the way the cookies crumbled. This drive has been really intense and I think I'm like minor league freaking out a little bit because I'm not listening to Dominic Fike right now. I've been loving his music recently. Baby Doll, great song, great song. And the one with Justin Bieber, Die For You, that one's been stuck in my head, as well as the Paul McCartney song, which I just learned that Paul McCartney was a member of the Beatles. Did not know that. And John Lennon, also didn't know that one. Like I knew those two names, but I didn't know that they were like the Beatles. I thought they were just people. <laughs> I just thought they were just artists. This is like what I'm talking about in my last video, like my Don't Take Me To Trivia Night video because my general knowledge is just like, it's wrong, <laughs> you know? Like, I just, there's so many things going through my head that are just like wrong. And like, I'll know names and stuff. And I hope this doesn't come off as me being like a pick me, like I'm so dumb because I'm actually not dumb. I'm actually quite smart, like book smart, but not like common sense smart. I just like, I'm not street smart whatsoever. Except for when I'm in my car. Sometimes, like, pretty much when I'm in my car, I can, like, I'll get lost, but I'll figure out the right way. I'm just really, like, I'm not good at following sat-navs, that sort of thing. Like, things that, it's like, oh, everyone knows that, I don't know that. And, like, like famous people's names and, like, names of actors and artists and stuff, I'll, sometimes I'll have heard their names and not know who they are or not know what they've done, but, like, I know the name. Like Michelle Pfeiffer, I didn't realize that she was the one that plays the mom in Hairspray or the one that's like in um, Murder on the Orient Express. Is she in Murder? Yeah, no, she's not in Death in the Nile. She's in Murder on the Orient Express. But in my head, I didn't know her as Michelle Pfeiffer. I knew her as the mom in Hairspray. And I didn't put two and two together that that was her. You know what I mean? <sighs> Shit like that. And then... I'll know this is the struggle with when I'm like talking to people about music because the only like artists names that I'll really know is the artists that I've like hyper focused on and like like what's happening with Dominic Fike at the moment like the they've been the only artists that I can listen to for a consistent amount of time um <clears throat> otherwise I'll know the names of like the song but I won't know who sang it. You know what I mean? Like, I'll listen to the song, I'll know every word of the song, I'll know most of the words to the song, but not know, like, who is on the song. And it's it's just that sort of thing that, like, I'm really bad with. Ooh, Jeep. I would love to have a brown Jeep Wrangler one day. I feel like that is a lovely car to have and drive straight through. Today is a brilliant day. Yeah, so I'm sorry today's video was a little bit shorter. The drive actually did not take me long at all. So thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future, like write in the comments or send me an Instagram DM. Um, don't send me a TikTok DM because I actually don't know how to work those. So bye.